back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me um, look and today I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I'm going to try and do a look with all the palettes I have. Like one look with, I mean a look with one palette, sorry. So I have this one, I have the Tarte, Tartus Pro, I have three Morphe's. Well, actually four more of these because I have the Jaclyn Hill palette too. So I'm going to be doing a makeup look for each um, single one of those eyeshadow palettes. So I'm just going to start off. I start off with this green conceal and I just get spots, like red spots. Like my little acne marks that I have. I'm not really breaking out, but I just have a lot of acne marks. Look at my face. <laughs> After I buff all of that green in, I'm going with my airspun and I'm just setting it all together. And don't worry, I'm going to get in the background soon so you don't have to see my TV right there. So I just set it like that so when I do my eyeshadow, it like, stays. Today I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Maybelline um, concealer in the shade light. And then just buffing that in with a little beauty blender. I got these from Sephora, these little beauty blenders. Beauty, <sighs> beauty blenders, I seriously can never talk. So that's all blended out. I'm gonna get my Cody Airspun again and then I'm just gonna set my eyes. So again, for today, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So let's okay, get started. So starting off, I'm gonna grab Raw Sienna with the brush that it comes with. And that's going to be my transition shade. Today I'm going to uh, do a half cut crease. So I'm not going to wing it out for a full cut crease. Now I'm going to do burnt orange. And I'm going to put in the same areas. So now I'm going to be going in with Real Guard. I think that's what I say. Maybe it's regular, I don't know. It's like the orangey one. I'm just blending that in. Alright guys, so now I'm going to dip in to Love Letter, which is a more pinky color, and I'm just going to rotate in circles like this. Okay, and sorry guys, I'm really bad at pronouncing words, but the next shade, it's like VNN Red. I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. But this is like more of a pinky one. This is really going to make our look turn like really pinky. Ooh. Well, I guess it doesn't really look red. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend all those colors together. Nice, nice one on. And blend it. Like so. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna cut my crease using my Tarte Shape Tape. And this little brush right here. These brushes don't have names. Got them from Amazon. And I don't recommend them to you because they suck. But again, I'm doing a half quick crease, so. So before I do the glitter, I'm going to go off camera and then do this eye now. And when I come back, I'm going to do this. Guys, so I finished the second eye. Don't worry, I'm going to clean up the stuff with the fallout. But now I'm going to be going into the bulk glitters, glitter, and pink kisses. I don't think it's going to focus. Alright, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to go into pink kisses, but pink kisses and put that where I cut my crease. Alright guys, so for the glitter primer, I'm going to be using this one right here. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just putting that all across where I put 
<laughs> my mirror's almost zoomed inside. I'm putting this where exactly where I cut my fins at. And I'm being pretty heavy with it because I want my glitter to stay. And I didn't mention it when I cut my crease, but when you do a half cut crease, you really want to make sure that at the end, like right here, you want to feather it like that. And like, so it's like gradient. So it gets a little bit tacky, and I'm, I used the brush I cut my crease with to do that. And then now I'm going in with this brush that's right here. Uh, there's no name on it again. Got it from, what's it called? I got it from Amazon, so. Now I'm going to be going in with Pink Kisses. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be going in with Pink Kisses now. <laughs> I'm going to get glitter all over my face, but it's okay. Then after I fully apply the glitter that I want, getting this tape, scotch tape, and I'm just taking it off. <laughs> At the one that fell. Alright, so now I'll be getting a makeup wipe. This has like some of my stuff for my eyebrows. Also, I did an eyebrow tutorial, so you can go check that out if you would like and I just sharpened it up like that so just like that <laughs> all clean all the fallout's gone it's like that so if you get glitter up here that you don't like just get a spoolie and wipe it off so it's like nice and clean you know going with this primer right here it's the Primavera matte moisturizer since I have oily skin, that's what. Oh crap! Pick it up later. Since I have oily skin, that's why I love using that primers because it really helps. And I avoid my nose. That's when I get oily, so I don't put anything on my nose except foundation. Going in with the NYX Photo Loving Primer. And this. I think I said. I know I said moisturizing. No, this is a primer. I don't put primer on my nose either. I know. Oh, these skin problems. Um, today I'm gonna be using a new foundation. It's not. This is my first time using it. I used it one other time, and but it's the Mac Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 Broad Spectrum foundation, and I really love it. And I'm in the. I'm in A17 or C5. I really don't know. I just got this. It's a look. So it's gonna be using today for foundation. I'm using a sponge to apply it with because it's not a stick foundation. I think if it was a stick foundation, then I would probably use a brush, but I like how it applies with a beauty sponge. It's me, and I sometimes went to school, and I didn't know until I went in the mirror, like during a ba bathroom break, <laughs> during lunch, and I forgot to put foundation right here. Oh my gosh, and the whole day I was like trying to cover. <laughs> Don't want that problem, so I'm blending down my neck and in my chin. I really love the coverage on this foundation. And it's, I really don't really focus on under my eyes because I'm gonna put concealer under there. Oh my god! Oh my god. Anyways, I put concealer under there, so I don't really want to cake it on, so I don't need to put it really under my eyes. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And I just do two dots. And then one dot, one dot, one dot, one dot. Because it's really light. And I think I got the wrong shade. Because it's so light. And it's really full cover, so. I try to be careful. And I go from side to side. I don't know why I do it. So I always just go side to side. I don't blend out one side only. And I like, like, when I get smoother, then I... Say, but I always bounce back. <laughs> I have no idea. That's 
set that all in. I'm using Cody Airspun. And I'm just setting that all in place. Before I put on my falsies, I do like a quick little thing of black eyeliner because I don't, so my eyelashes have like something. But I'm going through my eyelashes right now because I have glitter on them. I'm just trying to like, get out all the glitter. And for coffee today, I'm going to be using these. They're very beautiful. And they're at Ulta. I'm going to put on mascara. A little bit of mascara, so now I can apply my falsies. I used, oh my gosh, I dropped everything. I used um, this, this um, glue right here. That's the glue I used. So now I'm just going to apply these falsies. Oh my gosh, could you get my mirror open? So now I'm just going to apply the other falsy on my other eye, and I already cut these because I've worn them before, so they're already cut to my eye shape. Straight down. I don't know. I could post a. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you guys see that? I have to put glue right there. Well, we all make mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everyone has those. Anyways, I'm putting glue right here. Okay, so I could film. What I was gonna say is I could film how to put on falsies for you guys if you guys want, but I don't have to. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, some people have difficult times you know falsies because falsies are hard as heck so now that falsies are on i can wipe away oh my gosh sorry this mirror is so hard open now i can wipe away the excess powder don't worry i know my face probably looks all white and like what is she doing still have to contour and bronze <gasps> you thought this was over. <gasps> it's not over yet. So weird. Oh my god, I hate myself. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna contour. Contour today. I'm using HD Studio Photogenic Studio Concealer and O7. And I'm just contouring my face. I'm gonna contour my face. And then I go at the top right here and I swoop down and make a three. The other side, what we're doing it symmetrical. Who doesn't make it symmetrical? Not me, like that. And now we blend, we're done to the courts. I forgot to put on my nose. It's okay, I can put it on right now. It's okay. I forget everything in my life. Oh crap. And I'm gonna wanna run downward too. Okay. You can't even see. Okay, my eyelids clean off, I'll fix it right now. And that's why I always put glue on my eye too. So like that and don't worry. When I put powder on, it's gonna diffuse how like brown it is. So I'm gonna put right here and let it bake and by the time I wipe it off it's gonna be like nice a nice bronze I'm using the siate I think I say it I don't know and the real techniques of buffing brush <laughs> this boss is getting in my eye, I can feel it, I don't like it. Alright, now I'm going in with the e.l.f. blush palette and this Lexi blush brush. Top, top. Oh, look 
you will have rosy cheeks. Okay, so now it's time for highlight and today I'll be using the Minka Minka Beauty highlighter in highlighter number three. Oh crap. Ooh, it's a loose powder by the way. I feel like loose powder. Why? No, I'm pretty wrong. I just feel like loose powders have more like blindingness. I'm just going like that. I'm putting it right here. Oh snaps. Putting some right here. I know I'll blend it. I'm the I'm gonna blend it in later. That's just how I do my makeup. I know I'm weird. And now I'm gonna put this right here. I got an angular brush. This brush doesn't have a name on it. I'm gonna get this Morphe um eye brush kit. It has like the best eye brushes. So I'm gonna get that. Because I don't have any eye brushes, trust me. I only use that the brush that comes in the Modern Renaissance palette like every day. But I always gotta wash it and it's so annoying. Continue putting highlighter on my face. Oh god. <laughs> a little too much, it's okay. That's why we have a beauty blender. That's why we have a beauty blender that we use the colors. There. Ah, the shrimp should be good. My lips look hella for you guys, so I can do my lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with raw sienna. And I'm gonna build up the color on my lower lash line, don't worry. Oh, you couldn't even see. Sorry about that. So raw sienna. I'm just buffing that in. Then I want to take Love Letter and be in and thread. And I don't know how to say it. I'll learn, sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Like that. And then, I'll, then I'm going to go off camera to the other eye. And then I'm going to put black eyeliner on the bottom. You get powder in your eye. Oh my god. It's time to apply the mascara on the lower lash line and the top. So now for lips, I'm going to first go in with the Ulta Beauty Juicing Fruits Lip Oil. I like to do this because it just moisturizes my lips before I hit another lip gloss. Uh. So yeah. And then I'm going to be using one of these three, but I'm not sure which one yet. Guys, okay, so I actually didn't go with any of the lipsticks. I actually went with the Anastasia Lip Gloss. Um, this is uh, vintage. And I just applied a little bit of balls. Fox freckles. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I'll definitely do more videos like this. I still have five more palettes to do, so you'll see five more palettes with looks like using one palette. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.